Hey friends, this is Grace and welcome to my channel and I'm going to do a little share video for you today. So I have been working really hard to try to keep up with the 2024 Scrapbook Generation Create Challenge. This is the challenge that they're doing in their Facebook group where 52 layouts in 52 weeks in 2024. So, so far as you can see, I am up to date um, and so I'm crossing my fingers. I haven't done this week's, so I guess I'm kind of behind, but I'm still in the beginning of the week. So I have some time today and so I'm gonna share. I have eight lay layouts here here to share. If you are not familiar with the challenge or the Facebook group, Scrapbook Generation is a actually a brick and mortar store in Missouri and they also have an online store and they're very popular with their sketches. Um, Allison Davis is one of the um, owners I want to say or well she's related to the owners and uh, she creates some really fantastic um, sketches and so she's part of, of that group but this one is run by Debbie I believe and um, it's she pu puts up a f out of a f prompt every Monday morning and then you have a week to do it so um, in m based off of what I've read um, there's some weeks that we don't have as much participation as some other weeks but I'm doing this for me I'm not doing it for anybody else but myself but I am enjoying that there's that outside prompt that's helping me to kind of think outside the box all right so here we go I don't know what week this is but this is the week where the prompt was to use different pattern pattern papers from different um different manufacturers and so I decided that I was going to do a rainbow. I actually have been doing a lot of Pinterest research when it comes to the prompts here because it's giving me some ideas and I saw this one idea on Pinterest where they use kind of a rainbow colored and they they did a circle. Now instead of circle I just used um, some hexagons because I wanted it to be a little bit different and I love the result of this. This is going to be the front page of my family 2020 album so I love how I was able to use a lot of scraps all of these are scraps and um, I was able to use different colors so clearly they are different pattern papers from different manufacturers but I love the result of what I've done and it's this is one of those layout or sketches or ideas that you know you can do you can use over and over again you just have to change the, um, the different shapes and sizes and styles that you have the next layout, the prompt here is to do some layering. And so I decided to layer some pattern papers. Again, I had my scrap container close to me because of what I've done the previous week. So I just used some scraps again and made them into a banner. This is actually kind of a life in a day that I did. And because the banners were already on the top and then I have a lot of photos on the bottom, I decided to tuck in my journaling here, which I just created my own little tag. And I kind of broken that, broke them down with kind of the, the times of the day where I took the pictures. And so that's kind of fun. And this was actually in 2020. So a lot of the things that I did were at home because we were in that during that time where we were all asked to stay home so that was that and then the next prompt was to do some strips of paper and so I decided to again I had my scraps this is the third week that I had my scraps and so I pulled out a bunch of those um, branding strips and just tiny strips of paper and then um, I had them into a diagonal and I could have just put them in the center of my layout, but I decided to kind of cut them. Um, this is a six inch, so I cut them into two inch strips. And so I kind of used them as columns and I, I like how that looks. And then of course added a few more scraps and then my photos in the middle. And then the next prompt or the, the week after that, the prompt was because they we had the um, eclipse so the prompt was to do either make a layout about the eclipse or do some um, lights or some darks or put a black or create a black and white layout and I decided to do the black and white that is something that I don't normally do but I felt like these photos lend itself for that kind of color palette and so I pulled out a, a bunch again scraps I put up pulled out a bunch of scraps that are kind of black and white white and then I put it in there and then I remembered I had this cheers die cut um, piece or not piece but the die cut 
tool and so I cut a bunch of them in gold just to kind of break down break down the uh, black and white and there's also kind of some gold over in my photo over here so I pulled some gold um, to match the or to include in my color palette here as well and doing this reminded me that I should use more of my kind of more card making tools into my scrapbooking so I'm gonna have to take that into consideration more in in the coming weeks because I really love how they uh, work well with our layout making as well okay the next one was to um, find a layout that you've been inspired by someone else and so I went into my Pinterest board where I titled it inspiring pages all those pages that I've seen on Pinterest and it's inspiring I wanted to be able to just um, save it and so one of the layouts that I saw was of course Paige Evans she is the master of putting together pattern papers and she did this weaving one and I thought oh that was really cool and I just happened to have this buffalo check um, mask and uh, sweater on that day and I said this will be a really cool um, page to make with a weaved background so again I used scraps of paper and then I just created a weaved background this is actually one piece and because I had some extra I put it on the top and this is an eight and a half by eleven because um, this is going to be a me it, this is a me page and so this is going to be in my me album Okay, the next one was tags. So I wasn't very, I don't know, um, I didn't think outside the box with the tags. I just basically made my own tags. Um, and I, I used, again, a bunch of scraps of paper. Uh, this layout is photo heavy, so I just needed something to go on the top. And then, so I created my, um, my tags there. The tags that I was actually thinking was using, I was thinking of using a die cut, uh, a steel die cut to create the tags, but I noticed that there, I had a lot of papers that were different widths, so it's not gonna work. And I wanted also them to be in different heights. So I actually just traced the shape of the tag on the back of these papers and then just cut them the way Way I wanted them like how long I wanted them to be cut as you can see some are thin some are thick and that's totally fine but what one thing that I did I was happy to to um, use here are the brads these are actually like legit brads and I haven't used those in a while and so I love that I was able to use that and I don't know if you can tell but I used the word cheers again there and I sp spelled cheers to Christmas so that's kind of fun and then this one was, um, the prompt was, this layout happened during the week um, going into National Scrapbooking Day. And so the prompt was NSD. And so I had used Nouveau Drops, stamps, and then the die cuts. I've been wanting to use, I have this set of um, stamp and die set where it's airplanes with these little cute critters. And I've been wanting to cr use that into a layout about flying an airplane or flying in an airplane and it just so happened that I had these pictures printed and it was so it was perfect these were pictures of us um, going to Florida in 2021 and this was actually the first if you can believe it first flight for two of my kids my youngest and my middle child my oldest him and I went um, on an airplane but he was like I think just a year old than that so he doesn't really remember so this was a big deal for my kids and so I wanted to add these critters and I did five for the five of us so this is this was really fun the coloring and the cutting and just adding those little airplanes with the critters on my airplane ride themed layout was just perfect Okay, and then the last one, this was last week's prompt. The prompt was stars. Now, um, one of the things that I did, I don't know if this is innovative, but these are pictures of when we toured the USS Midway in San Diego. Um, it was docked in San Diego in 2021. I think it is still there. Um, I think it's a um, like a permanent installation over there, but I might be wrong. But at that time, we went there and we did the tour. We spent close to, I think, four hours in there. It was fascinating stuff. But just with any kind of tours that I do, I take a lot of pictures and a lot of pictures. These actually were pictures just in the inside of the air, um, of the ship. And it didn't even take pictures of when we were like on the 
on the top deck of the um, the ship. Anyway, so I took a bunch of pictures and they are two by threes. And so I had put lots of pictures here. If you can believe it, there's 42 pictures in here. It's amazing how much I was able to put in here. But this is one of those layouts that I am struggling because I don't know how to scrapbook this because there's just so many photos. Um, I actually weeded some of them already, but I, there, there's still so many photos that I took. But I didn't want to make like five layouts of the same thing because that's what I was doing before. And so I decided I was just gonna put them in here. And then the prompt was stars. So I thought, well, I'll just make a flap. So I have a flap here, it's about six inches. Well, this one is six inches. And then I added some stars. I die cut that with my star die cut. And then I actually cut them in half so I can layer them on top of each other so there's a little bit more interest in there. And then my title sits there. So this way I have basically my paper, my, my two page layout is just filled with photos and I am happy with that. And then of course my journaling and then I just have this little flap where it holds my title. So that was really fun to do. This week's prompt is that we are to finish a layout that we started. So that should be easy, but so far these are the layouts that I create, created recently with that um, scrapbook generation challenge in mind. I've been really happy with this. There are times where I didn't know if I was able to make a layout, like in particular this very last one. I did this, I usually create my layout on a Wednesday, but this one was done like Friday. <laughs> it was cutting it close, but um, I had a very busy week, but I am still very grateful. I love it when I see all these hearts all filled up. So if you are looking for some inspiration or some challenge to get you out of your comfort zone, make sure you check out the um, SG Scrap Squad Facebook group um, because this is a great um, challenge. And uh, it's also very nice because um, if you cannot make it in you know posting it on that day or on that week you can always post it on a later week so you can if you're just starting out and you have the time you can bust out all of the layouts that or you know go through the prompts and create the layout and then post it for those weeks and you can still create the 52 by the end of the year so anyways if you have any questions let me know in the description box below if you like these videos please consider giving it a thumbs up and also subscribing and hit that bell button so that you youtube will notify you of the next video and i will let you, i will catch you guys in the next video bye now bye